Well, we're really on a roll now. Em's priming all the aluminium trims before we wrap to them. Great, it's great to see that going on, Em, isn't it? Really it does look good to get some colour on. Yeah, brilliant. Yeah. There's a lot there as well. Yeah, there is. It's all been sanded and wiped down with thinners. Yeah, give it a couple of coats of this. I think I'm on the end of my second can, so it's going quite a long way. Oh, good. So we'll have enough then. That's um, brilliant. And then I can go over the patchy bits when it's yeah. dry. But it's actually quite quick once you've done all the prep, isn't it? Yeah. Isn't it funny that you're a teacher <laughs> and here you are priming a load of aluminium bits for our can? We're we're in my husband's workshop. <laughs> <laughs> and they do. Yeah. And it's they like look they're great. in the wash. It's a good look. Not everyone can carry it. No, no, only you are. <laughs> Perhaps Brilliant. you should just film me from the waist up. <laughs> <laughs> All right, see you in a bit, Em. Bye. Well, that's great. It's really good to have Em helping. There are a few small areas that needed a bit of filler in, so I've done those. This piece above the window is flat now there's just a a couple of small tiny bits I want to finish off and um, I want to get this trim on here today and put the window in and we're very very close to being ready to wrap to now which is awesome we've got uh, I think this is my yeah well, this is my last piece of filler to do across the front and over this fiberglass here just to get that ready and then this piece up here just needs a fine sand i just filled in a few pinholes and that's ready as well once the boxes once all these surfaces have had a most of them have been done but once they've had a good sand down with an orbital probably i think we're looking at 240 grit it should be 180 but we've got 240 so we'll do it with that it should be fine and then uh the bit round the back is ready as well. This has all been filled and is nice and smooth now where those joins were. It's coming on well. Let me just show you the hard work that goes into preparing this for paint. Rog has had to sand everything on this camper box and he's up there on the front sanding down all the filler that's gone in it's blazing hot today as i'm sure you can see and he's doing a good job <laughs> and i'm glad he's up there and not me because i'm not good with heights but as you can see it's looking fantastic now we got the kitchen window in today and with all the filler that roger's done around here it really does look like it's all coming together i'm chuffed to bits with it we've got the back panel in but it's suddenly looking like a proper camper now and I think by the end of this weekend we'll have all the paint done and then uh, we'll be doing the inside. <laughs> These are the bits I primed earlier today which are drying beautifully. The ones that look patchy aren't really patchy, it's because there wasn't much bare metal to paint actually on there. So they're all primed and they're going to get raptured tonight because obviously, you know, we don't want to get out of this red hot sun. We want to stay in it as long as we can and get this camper finished. So there we are. Very productive day. So right now we're rapturing all of the trims. And there's Dad doing it now. before and this is um, by me and it's a lot better I like it do you like it Herbie? I like it oh, that's good I obviously won't you, you did not stand too close because psh, 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 psh. <laughs> your glamorous mum <laughs> 
You have to shake this for about five minutes. Which is funny. Brilliant word. Ashes. <laughs> Looks nice, doesn't it? Looks great, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah, I'm nice. pleased with it. That's really are those the ones that are primed? Yeah, yeah the khaki colour is so, primed. So primed, finished. There's mum and her fake England shirt. <laughs> and your dad's shorts. And my shorts. I'm really glad I'm on camera. <laughs> It's your work gear. Looking good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Just so, twist them up. So fake England shirt and lovely shorts. Yeah. And, and Megan's hand Megan's... me down trainers. Yeah. That's a good look. Yeah. So I need to stay out of the way for this so I don't get painted. I think that's the first intruder I see. Yeah. Didn't waste any time, did he? <laughs> no. Oh, look at this. I'm diving into this stuff. <laughs> right. You ready, big boy? Yep. Another nice day. I'll show you what Roger's up to. We've been sanding all over the box. So as you can see, up the ladder again. anyway of course so that the paint adheres properly but you can probably see the sort of patchy bits are where Rog had to do lots of filler and fiberglass work to um, ensure all the joins were secure and we don't want any cracks and things like that appearing so I've been doing the bits uh, from the floor so I'm not one for heights and Roger's been up there like a mountain goat doing all the high bits <laughs> But it's looking good. I'll just walk round so you can you can see it all. All the windows are in, apart from this huge one at the back, which we'll I think we might be putting that one in later today. We'll see how we get on with the paint. These are all in. It's all a bit dusty, obviously, because of all the sanding. And till quite late last night, Paul Rodge was up here sanding all the front bit down where there are some joins and then we'll clean that all off in a bit mask up the windows mask up the cab and get some red paint on which we can't wait because it will just be lovely to see some color on there so that's where we're up to today and the weather's being kind it's a nice warm day so it should all dry properly the trims are over there completely dry now they've been out for a a few days well not a few days about two days so they're lovely and dry they've all been primed and painted so they can go on once the red is on so it's looking a lot more camper like now and next week there'll be a lot of stuff going on inside so it's looking good so i've been wrestling with this masking paper again because we've finally got all the sanding finished rog is now taping up round the windows and the doors with our blue masking tape which we found is the best stuff it actually sticks and down here we've got paper cutouts of the sizes of the windows that so they'll go on in a minute so it'll all be sealed up before we spray any red paint and of course we got to wrap the cab up so we're nearly ready to put paint on <laughs> That's the best thing you've done all day. <laughs> well, I might have got all showered and having a well-earned glass of wine, but Roger's still working. And this is quite good to watch because we've decided to... I say we. <laughs> Rog is going to um, put these mountain shapes in the paintwork. We weren't sure what we were going to do. We thought about different decal type stickers or vinyl wraps and various things and 
obviously there's the element of cost involved but we weren't sure what the finish would be either so what Rog is going to do is when we raptor the whole of the camper body he'll be able to use raptor to put these really cool mountain shapes going all the way down the side of the camper and on the other side and on the back it's not going to be a mirror image on either side we're deliberately going to make them different and have a mixture of like the main camper being red and then the mountains made up of a mixture of black dark grey and light grey which we think is going to look really cool but you get quite a good impression if I stand back here of uh, what it's going to look like cheers so today we've been busy masking up with paper and tape all of the trims and the mountain design that we're going to have on the side as you can imagine it's quite time consuming doing all this but we don't want any overspray going on to the bits that we don't want to have paint on so in a little while we will be putting paint on so this side's more or less done i've come around the other side it's absolutely scorching today there's the back and then <laughs> there's bigsy my helper and then this side where Rog just needs to do this top bit up here because Megsy and I can't reach and I'm got not good with ladders but we've done all the rest of it and masked up the cab and then it will be so lovely to see some red and black paint going on and I can't wait so it's looking good welcome to M's paint shop here we have uh, the tintable stuff this is the hardener which we will mix in this is the actual coloured paint which is red this is the new paint gun these are our little pots that we mix it in and this is what I'll put the paint in and it will all happen here and Rog says it looks like I'm at a village fake <laughs> Welcome to my fate. You're out. Excuse me. <laughs> Can I have some lemonade, please? Sorry, I've only got um, Reuben Raptor oh, today. Where's the coconut? Dad, you're going to be like Mr. Brown on Paddington. You know where he oh, yeah. has coconuts and it's like everywhere. <laughs> What's it? Bullseye Brown? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You know all of that. I love yeah. it. What should be Dad's name? So. Tired man. Who? Hey? Tired man. Tired boy, yeah. Tired dusty boy. Tired and stroppy. It's the heat mate, it's got to us today. Probably got to do it another three times. At least. It's going to look really good though. Can't wait to see paint on it after all this time. Oh, me too. Oh. Oh. How, how long's that Megs? Um, three minutes left. Oh, oh blimey. Can I do another one then? Yeah. Lovely, darling. Oh. What? It says shake for two minutes. Oh. oh, that's fine. Well, you can't overshake it, can you? It's not like no. it's going to turn into butter. No, so that's good news, anyway. Yeah, that saves my arms, doesn't it? <laughs>
So we've been quite busy for a few days and we haven't actually filmed everything because we've been a bit up against it. So let me give you a quick update. We were painting and it's not, as you can see, we've sounded quite a lot back to redo because we weren't happy with the way the mountains looked actually. And we need to do another coat of red. So we didn't think you'd want to watch a big film of, <laughs> of us sanding the box. <laughs> We've had to get in the silly zone somewhat. I thought I'd show you the trail of destruction when you're building a camper. All of this is from <laughs> all of our efforts at uh, painting and prepping the van. Let me show you what we've been up to today. We were so busy, we didn't really have time to film anything. But if I stand back here, we now have red paint up to this point along the van. We decided to do it in sections. We've got the black mountains under here, which you can imagine took a long time to mask up. Then we had to let that dry and then we masked up the grey ones behind, which we're really pleased with. And then once that's all had time to go off, the rest will be infilled with red as well. So it will, the red will come right down to these gray mountains here. Rod started putting the trims on as well today. It's starting to get dark. It's a late finish today. So we've got the trims up round the front of the cab. I'll come round and show you the back. So you can see, try not to trip over bin bags. We need to put the back window in tomorrow. This will all be red got our mountains down here again that bit will be covered red our first attempt wasn't quite as successful and then again oh, look how pretty it is in our garden let me just climb over the ladders and show you this side <laughs> oh dear there we are so again it's nice to see the windows uncovered and you can see the trims again finish it off nicely we've got the holes cut out here ready for our cassette loo that's where the water goes in as you can see our walls are so thick that you can't in a caravan you would just cut out your hole and then put the panel back in but of course because we've used uh, this thick insulated panel Rog will make a door to go in there to um, access our loo we've got the sort of surround and lock bit so yeah a lot of progress today and I'm really pleased with how those mountains have turned out with this second go. Just come round so you can see the front as well. So tomorrow these trims will go up here and all the corner pieces are deliberately going on after to give it all time to set. They're uh, either riveted and sicker flexed on or screwed and sicker flexed on. But it's really beginning to get there. So it's all coming together with a lot of work and a big team effort from all of us. So yeah, that's the latest update for you. And now I'm going to go and put my feet up. Finger in a nice little lump. Oh, I'll just put the thing for a sick flex. That's what it's good. Who's got a cover on there? I've won. Yeah, I'll get down quick. Get me out going up and down ladders though. It's completely relaxed when I'm up there, Rog. That's good to see, isn't it? Yeah, it's lovely. Mm. I might put some in here as well. I think it's uh, matchy matchy. Yeah, I think it's a good idea as well. I will. Well, it's probably better to overdo it, isn't it? Because yeah. it will get a lot of wind and. That will, will it? Yeah. Wind and bugs hurling themselves at it as we're hurtling along at 50 miles an hour. <laughs> on the bottom of this ladder?
so there it is that's the first of the trims put on I'm not too worried about this looking pretty or anything it's more about getting the good seal and somewhere for the water to flow if it builds up it here I'd like it to flow away and have a way to do that so what I'm going to do is uh, all of this section and the roof section are going to have another coat of a bitumen based um, it's actually a, a camper sealant it's a special bitumen camper sealant that we're going to give and this is going to get another coat and so are most of these areas especially around here where the water is going to build up um, and as I say I'm not too worried about the looks of it it's about it being watertight so I think that's a good job and it's time to get the others on now going to be a good day today. Emma's reading the instructions and today is the day we finally get this awning out of our hallway. It's been here for months now. I bought it because it was a good price and we wanted to uh, buy all the things that were important to us and one of them was this awning. And it's been here and we've been tripping over it for months now so finally we get to move it and actually fit it to the truck which is a great feeling. Done. Crikey. It's certainly that was terrifying. Terrifying. Oh, that's good, isn't it? Yeah, well oh, done. Doesn't that look nice. well done, darling. What we need to do now is get the things to open it up. Yeah? And we open it up and then I put those bolts in at the bottom because you can't do it while it's closed. <laughs> Yeah. But I suppose yeah. that's alright. I thought it was fine to be But it's obviously as 
wide as it goes, isn't it, Raj? Oh, I get it. I think you just... That doesn't look very good. Today we're masking up ready for the third layer of mountains. This is actually going to be a lighter colour than the other two. We've already done a black round colour and then we've done a, I'll show you if I turn this round, and we've done a grey behind it and you can see where the blue tape is. Em's been doing this this morning and I'm just about to help her finish masking this area up. Bits of the left are going to have a really light grey, almost white in them, so that there are three different uh, contrasting colours of grey that, that show the mountains, and uh, we're hoping it's going to look really good. It's definitely better than what we did before when we did the huge mountains. They look like, well, they look like ice creams, like 99s, Mr Whippies. They were awful. But we had a good chat about it, decided we didn't like it and sanded it down and what we've done is spray the top part of the camper red here and we're going to carry on the red down to the edge of the mountains but we're going to have a trim where the join is we'll put a trim along there which I think is going to look really good as well and hopefully the exterior will be as good as we're wanting it to be or as good as we're hoping it should be M's back with some paper and I'm glory boy. I just hold the paper and she shouts at me. <laughs> Great you need to help, didn't I? Yeah. Well, I might be here till Christmas. We're normally doing this in like gale force winds, aren't we? Yeah, I don't know how we messed up this time, it would have been worse, here. <laughs> Look, the wind is getting up now. Look, I oh, shouldn't. I shouldn't have joked about. <laughs> as long as it doesn't rain, I might. Just not the same without the wind blowing. Stop swearing if it rains. <laughs> <laughs> well, last time we didn't. We did well to get that done. Yeah, we've had enough, haven't we? It was a lot of work. Well, we were trying to get it all done quite quickly, yeah. and. Um, Megsy helped a lot as well, didn't she? Do you, do you think we want to go up high, up high as well? Just past this one. Um, I must admit, I do feel a bit more relaxed about it this time. Yeah, that's nice. Thank goodness. Oh, that's fine. I wouldn't say nice, but... Little treat. Yeah. I'd rather be lying on the beach in the sun. This finished, we can help me and take me to all sorts of places. Do you ever think you'd be an expert on <laughs> masking paper? I've and changed. Masking? Right, let's get this door masked up then. Oh, that looks lovely. 
lovely, doesn't it? Yeah. It's funny, you know, but around here, people still travel by biplane. <laughs> Amazing to see it, isn't it? Well, it's quicker than the trains at the minute, I yeah. think. Everyone else is buying electric cars, and most of the people <laughs> around here have got an old biplane they fly around in. <laughs> To mask up for every set of mountains, isn't it? Yeah. Really? But <laughs> Dad already wants to peel it off. Make me stay away from it. Okay. I've already had to tell him to stop doing that when I didn't have my cardboard over the windows. <laughs> uh, I said to Mum, "Don't let me carry on spraying yeah. the car." Because he knew he'd be too tempted. <laughs> I know British weather is famously rubbish and unpredictable but I must have spent five or six hours yesterday masking all of this up with paper and tape and now it's absolutely sodden with rain. Uh, not peeling off yet which is something but as you can see it's a bit of a sad sight so that might be a job that I have to do again. We've had a bit more luck today. I've been masking this all up, all along the top and down the uh, other side there. And as Em said, she masked all this up the other day. And it took her, I think it took her all afternoon to do it. And then it rained. Uh, we thought we'd lose it all, but luckily we left it and it's dried out. And there have been a couple of pieces that I've had to push back down again and put some extra tape on and I'll check it all again before I rapture it in a moment but uh, yeah luckily it's all stayed there which is good uh, and it's now ready to rapture I've got this piece to do and then this piece and that's this side finished and then tomorrow I've got the pleasure of doing the other side and I must admit this hasn't been my favourite part of the project. I find the masking up to be mind numbing. It drives me round the bend. The only reason we've used newspapers today is we ordered a roll of brown paper. It didn't arrive so we had to make do and use the newspapers. Yeah and I've got this rear section to do. I think we're going to do that on Monday. It's Saturday today. Uh, same on this side. Luckily the paper stayed on. But tomorrow I'm going to mask this up. Well, I'll probably mask it up this afternoon. And then I'll get it sprayed tomorrow. That's both sides finished then. Which is going to be amazing. It's going to feel absolutely fantastic. And then Em's going to help me mask all this up on Monday. And we'll get it painted. Yeah, get it raptured. And that's all of the rapturing done. Which is really good because I'm slightly concerned about the weather starting to change now we're coming to the end of the summer and I'd, I'd like to get all of these pieces done before the the rain comes and the weather turns too cold and the nights uh, draw in because I know that from experience that if you raptor this and then you leave it overnight and you've got a damp evening the damp gets into the raptor and pickles it
effect which means it goes like a pink colour. I've already had that and uh, had to sand it all out again. But uh, yeah, hopefully we're going to get all of this done and I've got some white special roof sealant that I'm going to go up there with and seal all the roof up and then we're more or less dried in for the winter. I keep saying it to um, the, you know, the weather can do whatever it likes once I've been up there and, and sealed it. I know it's watertight now, but I just want to make sure, doubly sure, that it's, it's not going to leak. Also, before the weather turns completely, I'm going to get the storage boxes made up, which will be in a video that will be coming up shortly, so you can see me making those and I get them fitted. And once I've done that, it's uh, full steam ahead on the inside to get it finished. I've already done quite a bit in there but I want to get it all done, tidied up and all the boxes ticked. I'll get this raptured now and I'm going to film it so you can see how it goes and hopefully that will be this side finished this afternoon which will be really good. the day after I am really really disappointed today. M masked all of this up and I think it probably took her a whole day to do it. It took me most of the day to mask up the rest of it yesterday and I wrapped at it all. Uh, I wanted the texture of this one to be slightly different to the one above it and it's actually worked out really well. You can see the rougher texture there and then the smoother up at the top and I was going to, well I am going to put a trim along here and that side of it I'm really happy with but the colour just isn't right you can see it from the from the door to the panels either side and what's caused it is I sprayed it and it was really warm yesterday but I think we had a cold night last night and I think the damp got into it and it's what they call pickled now which means it's gone off colour and to me it looks pink compared to the red above it and I'm just not happy with it I keep walking around feeling sorry for myself <laughs> looking at it and I am really down in the dumps about it it's one of those things you can't let yourself get too dejected and you get these setbacks when you take on projects like this but this raptor in the outside of this has been a bit of a nightmare to be honest it's been a learning curve i've learned a lot from it i wouldn't say it was all good anyway that's how it is today the day after i'll show you around the back i came round here just to empty off the gun that I was using yesterday I sprayed some on here and this is actually dried in the color in the sort of tone and the color that I wanted it to you can you can see that's a lot redder than the stuff the other side and uh, as I say the other side's like a pinky color now oh, honestly it was a really good feeling yesterday we had some good feedback from YouTube about the videos and we got picked up a load more subscribers which I'm really grateful for and if you're one of them thank you <laughs> but this is just uh, oh yeah anyway I'm gonna make myself a cup of coffee start masking up the other side and pick myself up because it's the only way so you may have gathered that I was a little bit down in the dumps about the paint the thing that picked me up was when my lovely wife Em came back on the Monday morning and she is just so positive. She's so forward looking and she picks me up whenever I'm like that. She gives me a boost, makes me laugh, generally gives me a comical kick up the backside. And within about five minutes of her working with me, I was back to normal. So Em, I've got to thank you. You are wonderful. You're the love of my life, my best friend. Thank you. Right, so got Embo back today helping me. 
Only... Yeah, she's busy over there. We've got it all masked up again. And you can clearly see the difference when you stand back between this and the and the colours at the top. We were looking at it yesterday thinking, could we leave it? Would it be alright? But we just decided we wouldn't because I'd be sat there on holiday twitching because I could see the difference in the colour. So we're going to give it another light coat today and hopefully make it red again. And as usual, I'll show you, if you look at those trees up there, it's nice and windy today, <laughs> which makes our job a lot easier, obviously. It's just what we wanted. <laughs> there we go, look, it's blowing really well today. Perfect for spraying Raptor on your truck. <laughs> and everything else. And everything else in the vicinity. <laughs> so anyway, we'll, uh, we'll get going and uh, hopefully we'll end up with red instead of pink this time. <laughs> Red or dead? It's hard to tell till it dries, isn't it? I think that's better though, isn't it? I think so. It's got to be. It's just got to be. <laughs> <laughs> it just can't be the same as it was. I think it'll be alright. It can't go on if it's the same as it was. <laughs> I need to go and see my therapist. <laughs> So now we're just going to let that dry in the sun and see what the finish is like. I'll just come round the other side as well and show you. Try not to trip over anything on my way. It's difficult to actually see on this side because of the, sh um, the sun and the shade. It, it's hard to see what's patchy and what's just the light. But we've got both sides done now. I'll squeeze through here. It's looking pretty good. Roger's just cleaning the gun out. And I think it's covered this end that had a lot of black on it as well. So let me sorry. It looks it. I'll just move so you can see. That's probably the best place. Um so yeah, we'll let it dry, but that looks good. And then the final job on the paint will be this back here where we'll obviously have more red at the top but we're going to take, I say we, Roger's going to take the whole window opening frame out and, and do that separately. But uh, that will be such a nice feeling won't it Roger to have the whole lot done. Yeah, that's been a lot more work than we realised but I'm still glad we've done it ourselves because it looks good doesn't it? And we're still smiling. We are. Oh, it's all part of it though, isn't it? <laughs> you can't take something on like this and then get grouchy if no, something takes finish, longer. I'll never finish it no. I think it was quite good preparation for us. We've done um, quite a lot of work on our houses, haven't we? Yeah. And it's a bit like that. You have to be a bit flexible with deadlines and what's going to work and yeah. what you're going to uncover and just go with it, really. Yeah. But brilliant. Well, let's um, come back in a couple of hours and see what right, it looks this is like. A couple of hours later, so we'll show you what it's looking like. And it's pretty good. Please, Rog. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, really pleased with that. So, as soon as we did it outside, then it's a family yeah, job. And we, exactly. We're not, we're not painters. It was windy and we're outside, but it's looking good. There's a line you can see, that's deliberate. We're going to put some black trim all the way round, so that will be hidden. But the coverage is nice. If I go up a bit closer, you can hopefully see it's a nice sort of textured finish. And it's a really good contrast, we think, with the, the black and grey mountains. Let's show you this side. So again, there's that line which will be hidden by the uh, trim. Oh, it's so nice to see the white gone. These covers, they're all going to be painted black. With a, We have to have a special plastic sort of spray, I think. Well, we might use that or Rog might wrap to it. We haven't decided, but they will all be black, so they'll blend in. 
but yeah it's looking really really nice i think we've got the seal of approval from everybody it's good megs isn't it yeah i love it it looks so cool it does we're all chuffed well done rog well done you we, i just said to Mix, we're a team we've done yeah that. we are that's great really nice to see that finished that's great isn't it yeah i love it i'm over the moon with it now as has been the way throughout this project another day that we've decided to do painting the wind's got up so we just had fun shame we didn't film it really with rog skipping about on the roof to get this tarp on you know what's funny as well eh? now you've started filming the wind's died down <laughs> it has a bit hasn't it <laughs> but i can assure you it has been very windy at one point i thought he might take off up there um but we got the kids to help and we've managed to tie the tarp down here um and at the other end what we're doing today is painting the back this is the last bit that we need to paint so we wanted to make sure we covered as much as possible as well as all the normal masking up we put the tarp round because of this wind it's amazing how far the paint travels you sort of find little specks of it everywhere so um, we're hoping that will keep the bulk of it off the window section in here will be rogers removed that and that will be painted separately so last little bit of paint on the back i think we'll be celebrating tonight rog won't we yeah i think we will i think you deserve to <laughs> so I don't, I don't think it, you couldn't explain to someone how much work this has been could you it's i've been yeah i didn't expect i mean ev painting is always long-winded in the preparation but i didn't realize how long it would take actually and how fiddly it was i knew but i kept it secret <laughs> <laughs> or i'd never go in along with it would i <laughs> you, never, you never would have agreed to build a camper if i told you but so, i knew but <laughs> so he fooled me oh, that's one of life's little secrets yeah, though, lovely isn't it but at least we're pleased with the result because the paint does look good yeah. now. Anyway, so I'll stop waffling and we'll put this back on again when we've finished and you can see what you think. like it i it's love it off. we were driving back and it started raining Look, and i yeah. thought oh no i don't think it's going to rain that much if it does no. i'll just pull the tarp back over like i said earlier but oh, isn't it nice to see that done that's so good it is i, I the trim i do it looks good doesn't it did it mm. stick on all right or did you have yeah. to put a load of stuff on that'll be covered won't it yeah you won't see any of that that's really good to see and the, the bit that's inside looks good doesn't it yeah Looks great, doesn't oh, it? Oh, that's really good. Oh, I love that. Oh, oh, does that mean there's no more masking up? <laughs> <laughs> well, like I say, when we do the next one, then you can do some. <laughs> Megan's giving me a piggyback because I'm not wearing any shoes. <laughs> yeah, you don't get wet feet. That's great. That's a good finish, isn't it? Yeah, it's come out well, hasn't it? Yeah. And that, so we just about had enough. Literally, the last Sorry. spray I did on the door yeah. finished it. Did it? Yeah, honestly, I virtually, well, I ran out just on the last bit I had to cover. Oh, so we've been really nice. lucky there, Em. Uh, it does look really good, Rog. Are you yeah. pleased? Yeah, really pleased. Chuffed to bits. Oh, that's excellent. excellent. And I'd, you're just cleaning these off? Yeah, then? I cleaned that. You know, there was that overspray up there. Oh, yeah. I've just got that off. Oh, um, that came off well. Yeah. Um, that was quite a big strip of oh, it. Oh yeah, you yeah. thought it was tape, didn't you? Yeah. But it's cool, isn't it? <laughs> oh, yeah. 
<laughs> nice voice. <laughs> oh, that's good. Well done. That's amazing. It's really cool. Yeah, brilliant. Yay. Yeah, well done. Yeah, it's a bit black up there, isn't it? It's a bit grey. There's a strange boy with no shoes on. <laughs> right, cup of tea time. Yeah. That amazing sunshine is a really good reflection of how we're all feeling today. It's made us feel fantastic actually. When you stand here and look at that with the sunlight on it, I just can't help thinking what a transformation. It looks brilliant, if I say so myself, but the whole process of having to mask it all up with tape and paper over and over again so first we did the red then we had to mask it all up again to do the black mountains then the gray mountains then the light gray on top of that we had to redo the mountains and then redo the red so bearing in mind it takes roughly six hours to mask it up each time you can understand our relief that we haven't now got to do it anymore and that it is finally finished and looking really really lovely it is so much more work than i could ever have imagined but looking at it now, I just think, well, aren't we lucky to be able to do a project like this? It's really, really good fun in spite of that hard work. And we're chuffed to bits. When you think what we bought, when Rog came back with that truck that had the spec lift on the back, and now we've got a watertight camper painted brilliantly. We've got the trims on. We've got all the windows in place, the doors. The, the back's been transformed because of the rear window that's in there and, and it will have that extra opening as well. Once the gas struts are here, we'll be able to show you that properly. And it is just looking brilliant. So when I'm sat in there in my, on my summer holidays, looking out of that rear window with a glass of van de plonkety plonk, I won't give a monkey's how long it took to do this paintwork because I'll just be so chuffed. And we're gonna have years and years of great fun family holidays in this hopefully going all over the place and you know it's the result of hard work and teamwork and I just I feel really lucky that we're able to do it. The next stage is going to be I think just as exciting because of course we'll be inside and you'll be able to see how we get on with the the lounge area, the kitchen, the shower room as well as the cab over area and we've got really good ideas of how that's going to look and I think it's going to look and feel fantastic so yeah, standing back, looking at the sunshine on it, I think, yeah, life's good and we are over the moon with how this is looking. Those of you that have, have put really nice comments on YouTube, thank you for those because I can assure you they do give us a real boost, especially when we're shattered. It's lovely to hear your comments, so thank you very much. So, on to the next stage. <laughs>